Hi, my name is Lucio Simoni. I'm the engineering manager for BC Group. And in this video, we'll be demonstrating invasive blood pressure simulation using an NABP 1040. In this case, I already have my IBP cable plugged in. On the back of the NABP simulator, we have a label that identifies the three ports. In this case, the top port is invasive blood pressure. And I have the cable plugged into my monitor. And in this case, we can see that this line here in the middle is set for channel one invasive blood pressure, and it's not simulating anything. We need to figure out what's going on. Most monitors, the first time you plug in the cable, if you change the cable or if you power cycle the monitor, they have to be zeroed before they'll measure invasive blood pressure. So to do that, we'll go to a static blood pressure setting by going to the setup menu and we'll go to the monitor configuration for invasive blood pressure and we'll select IBP zero. Now we have to make sure that the static blood pressure is set to zero and we can do that by scrolling to the static blood pressure and adjusting using the up and down arrows. So with zero millimeters configured, I press input zero on the monitor and I tell it channel the zero that I'm connected to and now we have zero pressure shown on the monitor. The other thing that's important is the sensitivity. The NIBP has options for either five or 40 microvolts per volt per millimeter of mercury. And if that's not configured right, we won't get proper simulation on the monitor. So we have to make sure that that is configured correctly for our monitor. And when we go back out to the main screen, We'll be simulating uh, dynamic blood pressure that is synchronized with the ECG and uh, the NIBP pulses. So here we have uh, set for 120 over 80 for the NIBP and the IBP as well. And in this case, we have 118 over 79 displayed on the monitor. We can change those dynamic uh, settings by pressing the select button on the NIBP and here we scrolled to adult high and it should be 190 over 120 and we can see that reflected on the monitor here. We also have adult low which is 80 over 40 and the monitor responds pretty quickly showing us the correct reading there and we also have 70 over 40. To get to the static blood pressures, I would go to the setup menu and I can scroll through the static blood pressure settings. And at that point, I would watch for the center measurement to show me uh, the static pressure that is being measured by the monitor. And so we can check that across the range to make sure that it is measuring accurately. Additionally, when we go to the ECG simulation screen, the IBP rate will be synchronized with the, either the normal sinus rhythm or the arrhythmia waveforms. The IBP arrhythmia will also be shown to the monitor. And again, to get back to the main screen, we press the up arrow and we get back to our home screen. And we can see that it simulates a normal sinus rhythm in the invasive blood pressure at 120 over 80. That concludes the features of the invasive blood pressure simulation. For more training videos or more information about BC Group products, please visit us on the web at bcgroupstore.com. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like further information, please contact us at 800 242 8428. Or for international calls, be sure and dial the plus one for the US. 314-638-3800 or you can email us at sales at bcgroupintl.com for more information about our extensive line of BC biomedical products and other vendor alliances browse BC Marketplace located at bcgroupstore.com